Hey YouTubers, today I'm doing a haul video, um, so yeah, let's see what we got. We got the Marvel Legends, build Green Goblin, Black Cat action figure comes with the Green Goblin torso, pretty cool, paint's good, articulation is pretty cool, comes with the whip. She's got fur, and she's got the black mask, eye mask, with the white hair, it's got blue highlights. Then we've got this, the Doctor Who Into the Dalek. Time Zone set, comes with the hoverboat. Pretty cool. You can put a Dalek on top. Here's the is the Dalek Starlet Sack Standard Bronze Dalek. He seems to be a light uh bleh, a lighter bronze compared to the normal um wave one bronze Dalek and the Ice Stalk is a cleaner paint. The um twelfth Doctor Peter Capaldi Fortunately, he doesn't have red inside his jacket and he does look a bit depressed. And here's Dalek Rusty, which is a electronic moving. It has bristles. Actually, for fun, I might do this. Um, give me a minute. Hold on. So about the skies, I can find the blast. It, here he is. It's quite noisy. Whoa! He <laughs> knocked over Ray. God, that's noisy. So there's that feature. And like I said. We have, if I can move my fingers, Star Wars Force Awakens Ray action figure comes with a white staff, brown belt, scavenger suit. There is another Ray coming out soon. It's alright. Five points of articulation, but at least she has a ball joint head. She's got the three buns and the braid. Fortunately, she does look a bit like Kira Knightley and less like Daisy Ridley, which is a shame. And the next Force Awakens figure Kylo Ren. He comes with his famous. Crossblade lightsaber, red blade, hilt is this silver which is in that crit because it is actually black with a few wires. There's his famous motorbike Darth Vader styled helmet with the black hood, black cape piece. black shiny belt and the lower robe it's gloves, it's arms pretty cool so there's those down here we have some figures to look at oh sorry ok so let's look at these real quick we've got this 30th anniversary rebel Super articulated battle droid. I've got him crouched down like he was in Phantom Menace. What else do I have? Another Revel. I think that's from the Legacy Collection. Either Legacy or. Now I know this is from the. Zoom out quick. This rebel is from the 
Legacy Evolution Pack. Pretty cool. He's got a white costume, which is unique. Then we've got this Revel. His helmet is a bit loose. I'll actually show you what it looks like. He's just got a white skull cap and a moustache. Episode 2, Toy Lion, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan. He actually has a magnet in one of his hands, I think. Pretty cool. He has hinged knees. This 501st Revenge of the Sith clone trooper. I've always wanted these 501st clones. He's actually got green visor, which is unique. Then this other Revenge of the Sith clone, he's got the cool symbol on his chest, which is unique. Um, hang on. Yeah, these two stormtroopers, or people in disguise as stormtroopers, they were part of a comic pack. He's got some weird headband, blonde hair. This one's like an alien. Oh no, not that one. I meant this one. And his hands are not wearing gloves. Unique, their legacy collection comic pack. And if I can find them. They do come with helmets. This is Commander Bakara from Revenge of the Sith. Legacy Collection Aqua clone from Clone Wars. He was with Kit Fisto. He does come with a backpack and gun. Don't know where those are. And um, here's one of the helmets that came with those stormtroopers that we looked at earlier, removable. A legacy standard stormtrooper, no removable helmet, legacy collection. Highly articulated Chewbacca, he's really articulated. Really like him, he's got a bandolier, I think that's removable. Fortunately, he doesn't come with a crossbow, which is a shame. Another rebel, looks like a female alien rebel. Then there's this rebel, which looks like he has racing tracks on his helmet. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, Toy Lion, Django Fett. He has a backpack. Very different to Boba Fett. Unfortunately, he's not film accurate because of his, his armour is grey and it should be chrome. And, um, let's turn and look real quick. He's the vintage collector. Rebel from the Vintage Collection A-Wing Pilot Rebel and Then we've got Marvel Universe King Loki Really cool, I love the gold On his chest He's got yellow gloves, yellow boots Green costume Gold helmet with the horns don't know if you can see them. There's the horns. And he does have a rubbery ponytail. I don't really like it. Because it's quite soft. It could grip off. Then this other clone. 
He's got like a pilot helmet, space clone or something. And then this is the Captain America Winter Soldier toy line. Bucky, Bucky Barnes. He was best friend of Steve Rogers. He fought with him in the first Avenger. He fell, lost his arm, and became the Winter Soldier. And also, he's going to be in the Civil War movie. So there's Winter Soldier. He's also got a Russian star on his mechanic hand, which is cool. And then, finally, another rebel. I'm trying to see if I've showed everything. I think I have. Just having a look. If you give me a minute. Ah. And this is the Force Awakens. Armoured up Boba Fett. He has a backpack. He has the classic backpack. Really cool details. He was in Return of the Jedi movie. But he was packed in the Force Awakens packaging. He does come with a gun and armoured up backpack. So yeah, that's just the whole review from Killer Link in part 1. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, peace out.